We're headed up to look at uh, drift 19 and 20 here in the Rocky Mountains near Fort Collins. Uh, it snowed yesterday, so there's a lot of snow, but it's starting to melt off already. Lots of birds, really beautiful. It's not too cold out either. Really nice day. No one's up here. You can see some small rodent tracks here on the trail. Made a real big jump over there. Really cool to see. What we're looking at here is a pile of tailings. You can tell because of this uh, very light colored rock. It hasn't been exposed as long as the rest. You can see the miners mounded it up here. It's pretty obvious. And if you look way up there, there's some deer. You might not be able to see that. Five or six of them way up there, right between the saddle of this uh, little mound. They're leaping away up on that hill. Wow. That is something. Yeah, there's one who's looking at me. Maybe it's a she. I can't tell from here. Wow. You don't see that much. Wow. Here we are on top of that uh, small tailings pile. And over there you can see a wooden structure. And even further up it looks like there might be foundations from something. And I did read that at this site, uh, in the late 1800s, uh, a very wealthy businessman in uh, Fort Collins decided to try to build a mill up here. Because it would make their profits uh, a lot better. You didn't have to haul all of the ore all the way down this canyon. And this might actually be that site. If you look over here, there's some equipment. I'm not entirely sure what this did, but it certainly looks like it is uh, mill equipment. Maybe someone will know what this did. I, uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like 1800s to me because of the plywood and the way it's welded or the fact that it's welded. It might be a compressor of some sort. I don't know. It's definitely recent. There's a relay of some sort on it. If we go over here, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Um, this here might have been one of the uh, mine shafts. Uh, it doesn't quite look like it to me. Take a look in there. Goes pretty deep. Can't see the end. And up here we have uh, this big wooden hopper. This might have been uh, some of that older equipment. I don't want to get too close to this because I don't know what's underneath it. I don't know if there was a shaft or something there. Um, but this pile back over here where we started had that marked as Drift 20. And this area marked as uh, Drift 19. Looks like there might be the remnants of a wagon up here. Some of the old mill equipment, possibly. This definitely looks like it's the mill foundation. Some big old timbers there. See bolts where some of the machinery used to be mounted. This was by no means a very large mill, but it was only servicing a couple small mines. It's actually feeling a little bit colder out here right now. Hands getting cold, but wow. No idea this was even here. As far as I can tell, there's no documentation on this site. No pictures from when it was active, no pictures from today. Yeah, you can see 
This is definitely where they had the mill. Up there looks like there might even be more tailings. We're walking up this old uh, mine road up to those tailings right up there. You can see it's pretty steep. But man, that's a beautiful view. You can hear the river in the background. Wow. Deer are still up there. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Well, let's continue on. Let's get up there. Here we are on the top of those uh, big tailings. And you can see here one of their tunnels. They dug us a pit right here. And that right there is one of their tunnels. Pit over there. Obviously, it's gated off. This isn't a very uh, popular place. It's right off the road. It's a four wheeling road. So, uh, you really don't want uh, people getting in here easily. Yeah, it's locked. There's some rubble on the floor. Not a whole lot. And I can really hear my voice uh, reverberating in the walls. That's always a good sign of a very solid mine. Now I did hear reports that uh, these mines, some of the sh some of the tunnels, went in uh, up to 110 feet in the late 1800s. And this might have been one of those. You can see the uh, different layers of rock. They were following a vein of some sort here. And uh, it's very pronounced in the walls. I wish we could get down in there, but uh, I'm not going to try and break through a gate. But wow, that's, that's a legitimate mine. I wasn't sure if we were going to see any tunnels or not. Wow. If we look out here at the portal to this uh, tunnel, the rock near the portal is actually very solid, but... Uh, a little bit further out here, this rock, it just, it's just, it's loose, you know, little bits crumble off. You know, it's it's not as loose as it could be. Uh, so it, I believe that this would actually be a fairly safe tunnel. But you see that stuff up there, it looks like it's just going to break away soon. That's just going to come crashing in right here. And I don't know the last time this mine was worked, it may have even been worked in the 1940s. Uh, just looking at the equipment we saw down below. But, uh, wow. Very beautiful place. You'll also notice at this mine that uh, this gate is most likely a, a very recent addition. Because if you look here, you have this PVC pipe to keep the mine from uh, flooding. There's a crack in it right there. And this gate isn't very rusted, which uh, I sort of would have expected. There's all of this very beautiful life growing up on the top of the tunnel here, on the top of the portal. Once you actually get into the tunnel, uh, there's not a whole lot of that left. But that's, that's just so cool. I just noticed this as I was leaving this tunnel right up here. There are some very large timbers, uh, round timbers. Um, I don't know if these were fence posts or if these were actually used as timbers or support of some sort. You can see a couple right there. And this, uh, this pile of tailings is actually very large, larger than I initially thought. So I suspect that tunnel might be the uh, 110 foot tunnel. Uh, like I said, I can't see the back even with the with the light on it. And it's fairly straight, there aren't any turns. As I was coming down from the tunnel up above, I noticed this strange sort of cutout in the tailing pile. Down there you can see one of the uh, survey markers on the side of that uh, culvert. And I believe they they probably installed that to uh, protect the portal 
of a tunnel that was actually lower here. Uh, so <clears throat> this would probably be a 200 level uh, to the tunnel up above. Whether they were connected with a shaft inside, I cannot tell. Uh, but they do seem to run parallel and basically right on top of each other. Let's take a look at it down there. It's a bit hard to see with this snow, but right through here where they placed that big boulder, this used to be the road that would go to that 200 level right up there. You can see down here, there's a smaller tailing pile. And the larger tailing pile actually looks like it was dug away. And there is that lower tunnel. This here is that lower tunnel. Sounds pretty deep to me. Uh, and I can't see how far in it goes. It looks like the tube only goes a little bit and then it opens up into a hard rock tunnel. And obviously this would have been installed recently to keep the portal from collapsing or being uh, buried with rubble from above. Because when you look up at this uh, pile up here, there is uh, a lot of erosion going on. If you look right up here, right above that culvert, you can see this hard rock sticking out. I believe that's where the original portal to this uh, tunnel would have been. And this most likely would have been a, uh, a very well used tunnel right below the main tunnel up above. And this would be our 200 level. And that means that tunnel that we saw way back at the start here would be our 300 level. And they would have done the same thing. Uh, with this once again you can see some uh, some of these large timbers these may have just been fence posts I'm not sure but they are uh, pretty much immediately below the 200 level portal and if you look over here there's a very large log that was cut uh, most likely to be used for some sort of equipment or pulling up the uh, portal. It's hard to tell now. It's very rotted. It's most likely from from the time that this mine was operational back in the late 1800s. You look up there and you can see more of the tailings. And this really was quite an operation at its at its heyday. And the mill will sit uh, right below us down here. You can see the top of the foundation right over here. Path that run down there. Just one last glance at uh, drifts 19 and 20. And there was actually a, a 21 up here. That's the mill foundation right above it. You have the 200 level. Right below it is the 300 level. And way up there on top of the tailings is that uh, large tunnel. The uh, 100 level. As I look at the 300 level of the mine with this strange hopper above it, if you look underneath the hopper, you can sort of see in there a metal door frame. Probably so that they could have locked it. But this right here would have been right above the portal. Uh, what its purpose is, I don't know. I don't know why you would put a hopper right above the portal. Uh, but they did. And that actually would have been the entrance. And then uh, State of Colorado added this uh, culvert with a new gate on it for whatever reason. Because this portal was not uh, in danger of collapsing, I do not, do not think. Very interesting what this hopper does. I have no, no clue. It's very strange. You can see that someone used it as uh, target practice at one point. Quite a shame, really. But uh, that's where we are. Very interesting mine. So there's our 300 level with that weird hopper for the uh, portal. And I was walking out, and I noticed these. They actually had uh, ore carts. And the tracks are still here. I was very shocked to see this. Honestly, this may have been one of those 1940s additions. It's only a short section and you can see that it's 
tied together with metal straps and it's welded. It's not uh, bolted down or nailed or anything. Very, very interesting. Take a look at this uh, old tree on our way out. At one point, uh, barbed wire was wrapped around it for a fence. It just grew right through it.